Good morning. This morning, I um, I want to I want to um, share with you a little bit about something that I am learning, and I am just really, really, really amazed with this, and I love it. And it's called sketch noting. I had never heard of that before, but, um, you know, I just run across it in a book I was reading and I said, wow, that sounds interesting. And so I continued to read about sketch noting, and it's a real thing. It's a real thing. And I thought is in our journaling process, because a lot of us like to build journals. We make junk journals. We make flower journals. We make gardening journals. We make sewing journals. We make so many different kind of journals. But once we get that journal complete, then in all the little writing spaces that we have, a lot of us form a block. We don't know, well, do I want to write this? Do I not want to write this? Do I even know how to write this? And um, and so sketch noting is just another way, and apparently, a sketch noting has been around since creation near about. If you look at um, you know the uh, Egyptian graphics, um, hieroglyphics, whatever, it's all drawn in sketches, but it all tells a story. And so we learn from all of these sketches that people have done over the centuries, all sketch noting. And so, and, and, and what you need for sketch noting is a piece of paper. And a pen, I, you would usually use probably a pencil, but I'm going to use this pen be, just so it'll show up better. And then I have three different colors of little Sharpies or crayons or markers or whatever. And I'll show you how I use those too. But I am finding this to be the most awesome way. This is an awesome way to journal, an awesome way to journal. This is used by, a, sketch noting is used by a lot of like reporters. It's used for um, um, a lot of people in high pressure types of jobs. And they've got to get a lot said in a little time. And maybe they can't think of the words to write or whatever. So they use sketch noting. I'm going to I'm going to do one thing right here and um this is kind of a little personal personal thing um you all might know my little Jeffrey my grandson has been he's been ill for a few days well he's been ill for a very long time but um the last two days last 3 days last little bit he's it's been kind of serious very serious and so I journal a lot and I did you know some of these things I just don't even want to write so I I started by I I you know here is a let me just draw this calendar here oops I should have wrote first Okay, I'm going to put August 16th. This is my calendar right here. I just drew a calendar. And see, I just drew it in the middle of the page. I don't need it to be... I don't want to start this way and keep going, you know, line by line. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to... I just... In the middle of the page. Well, this is his birthday. August 16th is his birthday. And so I'm going to draw a little cupcake with a candle in it. I'll light the candle. And um, I'll put a little arrow there. Little arrow. That is his birthday. And he's going to be 12. Yay. 
12 tomorrow. I'll put a little frame around that because that is special. And um, I can write his name right here. All right. So Jeffrey's birthday is on the 16th. You can tell because there's a little cupcake there. And he's going to be 12, his age. Maybe I should write age there. Just just because I feel like it right there. So I just wrote a whole bunch right there just in that little note. Um, oh, but I don't know what I'm going to get for him for his birthday. You know what we're thinking about getting him? We're thinking about it. We're not sure. But we're thinking about getting him a plant. Uh, a plant. Uh, it's an odd thing to buy a 12-year-old, I know. But he likes his succulents. He's got one that's in a dinosaur. Somebody had taken a dinosaur, a, a toy little rubber, plastic, whatever dinosaur, cut a hole in the top, so then it's hollow inside. They filled it with potting soil, and they planted a succulent in that dinosaur. And so, and they had it for sale at a yard sale for a dollar. He has loved that plant. So we kind of thought about a succulent. How you spell that? All right, plant, because I can play that. I can, um, I can, um, that's just a thought. So I'm going to put that in the thought pub. The plant is the thought. I'll put that in the thought bubble. And um, and then I can even, you know, just draw a little flower pot with a little succulent plant. That's a succulent plant right there in that little flower pot. I'll just put that there because that's just a thought. We're just thinking. Well, Jeffrey's been a little bit, we're a lot of bit under the weather. So, he's been in the hospital now. He's been in the hospital for, I don't know, four days. I don't lose track of time. So, um, he's been in the hospital. And um, he came home last night. So... And now with the COVID thing going on, it's um, nobody can, hospitals are not taking visitors. You cannot go in and see them. And you, your patients, you know, you just not, no, he does not have the COVID. So thank God for that. And, um, but he's been sick in every, uh, in other ways and, um, how do I say this? I want to say this to you. I want to tell you about my Jeffrey, but I don't want to. Um, well, let me just do what I'm thinking. Let me just let my thoughts take me away. That's a hospital right there anyway. So I'll just drive that hospital. Okay. And, um, Jeffrey had to go to the hospital, but he went on 12, 13, 14, maybe 11th, 11th, I think he went. I don't know. Hello, Papa? You've got quite a few of these. You want to keep them for anything? Um, yeah. Yeah, I would like to keep those. Thank you. As long as they're not like dry rotted or something. No, they're not dry rotted. Okay, yeah, I'll use them. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, um, Papa just came in with this thing. It's a piece of, like, a plastic fence. Because he's tearing down an old lean-to-like shed that's been up forever, but then it's, like, falling down now. So he just came in with this piece, and he says, do you want to save these, or should I get rid of them? But it's like this way, you know. Well, I'm not doing very good right here. 
Uh, oh yeah, it's fine. But anyway, it's like this here, like a little piece of a fence, but there's a, like a whole bunch of them and you put them together and it makes a little border around a flower bed. They're only about maybe 12 inches high and each piece is maybe about 36 inches wide. About like that. And so, yeah, I told him to go ahead and save that. I just put that on my journal. I just journaled that. About that. I'll always remember that because I just journaled it. And so, anyhow, back to Jeffrey's, Je Jeffrey's um, problem. I think it might have started on the 11th. I, I lost track. Hmm. Maybe 11th. He came home yesterday. It was the 14th. Okay. 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. That's how long he visited this place right here. And our point to the hospital. And um, he saw a doctor there. This is a stethoscope, by the way. The doctor gave him some medicine. This is medicine. That's a medicine bottle. How do I do that? How do I do that? But anyway, he's got medicine. Hopefully the medicine will help. But you know, I'm running out of room up there, so I'll, I'll go down here. Only time will tell. So I'll put a little watch right there. We'll watch hands, and then I'll just make a little thought bubble around that. Then there's only time will tell. Um. Hmm. You know what just popped in my mind? I need to do my laundry today. I need to get my laundry done. And um. I better put this here so I have like a little reminder. Here's the dryer. Wait a minute. How how do I do it? Wait a minute. I'm not doing too good with my artwork here. My doodle sketching. How do you draw these th things? Like there. See, this is my dryer. This is my washer. Okay. There you go. That's my washer and my dryer there. They, they look just like that. Okay. I got to remember that I want to do them. So I'll remember because I just washed, put that washer and dryer. It has nothing to do with this stuff. But I put that, I went ahead and journaled that anyway, just so I can remember. So I now I have that. I, Papa came in to ask me about the fence. I got to remember that I got to do the washer and dryer. I don't have to cook today because we got letter, uh, leftovers from, you see how my mind is jumping back and forth? My, my, um, my mind is jumping back and forth. I don't have to cook today because, well, I'm going to just make my stove right here. Because we have leftovers from yesterday. And so... So I'll just draw this stove. This is about the funniest looking stove you've ever seen in your life, but it's a stove. And I don't have to cook today, so I'm going to put that circle around there and put that slash on there. I don't have to cook. Does that tell you anything? How we already know about sketchnoting. We see it. We see it every day. We see sketchnoting every day. We might go into a facility and there might be a picture of a cigarette with a circle around it and a slash. What does that mean? No smoking. We know that by looking at that image. No smoking. What else do we see in sketchnoting? We see... Um, 
um, parking, no parking, you'll see a sign that says parking. Instead of saying no parking, they put this line around there and put the, um, well, that's supposed to be a sign, but that is sketch noting. There's no parking right there. Okay, now, back to Jeffrey. Yes, the doctor gave him some medicine. Only time will tell. Oh, you know, here's where I'm going to need my little, I'll make this little red spot here. Is this the red spot and only time will tell? They definitely go together. Okay, so I'm going to put that little red spot. So I know where my red spots, those go together. Only time will tell. Um, let's see. Yes. So, like, um, yes, he went in, into the hospital on the 11th. He went out of the hospital on the 14th. So, see, I'll put my little arrows like that. So, um, birthday's tomorrow. Thinking about this plant. I need to go get something. And I got to make him a birthday card. I remember to be make him a birthday card. Okay, I got to remind myself to make him a birthday card. Well, gosh. I'll put HB there, happy birthday. So I got to just remind myself that I got to do this. And I need to get that done today. That's important. So I've got to put that. It's very important. So I have to um, put that there. Um, so. And then maybe I'll put my um, red spot over here too. Because that all has to do with Jeffrey. Now. Let, let me see. I'm going to show you another, you know, I, I want to show you also other um, sketch noting that we see on a regular basis. You might see this. That's a lady. Where do you see that? Bathroom doors. You might only see that lady on the restroom door. And then on the men's room, you'll see a man. And and you don't have to make them, oh, let's give him some feet. Um, they, you can make stick figures if you want people. You can make just stick figures. And, um, Another thing where I think all of us have used sketch noting is this one right here. Look at that. That's sketch noting. I, there's an I there. Heart is love. And you, the letter U, I love you. Sketch noting. Rather than to write it all out, there you go. I'm going to put that, I'm going to just write that here and give that a red dot because that goes along with these up here with my Jeffrey because I love him so much. Oh, I need to make sure, this is a lot of Jeffrey on here. Okay, but I'm also going to say, okay, these are sketch notes we always see every day. I'm going to make them green. Well, it looks black, doesn't it? This is a sketch note we see. This is a sketch note we see. These are sketch notes we see. Um, so I kind of just, I just kind of put them all together with that green dot. I kind of put these all together with that red dot. So wherever I put my noting on the paper, it will be 
it will be okay because I connect them or I can make arrows. I can, I can, um, maybe I want to just run a line of arrows right down here. And you can make fancy arrows. See, I can just put those right there. And look, I'm actually getting an art page here, an art page. And um, you know, you know what has this that he was discharged out of the hospital on the 14th. You know what that was? That was a direct, in my opinion, um, I put up a message on my on my um, Scrap and Lazy Unicorn page and asked for prayer for Jeffrey when this all first happened. And I am blown away by all the responses to that, the responses to that request for prayer. So how would you, um, I'd have to draw, well, I don't know how to um, do this, but I'm just kind of, this is, I'm just um, prayer. Let me just put that. And this is a direct, I will know what that is. Even if somebody else doesn't know what I mean by that. That's pray, pray in hands right there. Um, maybe I'll make a cross. Um, that discharge is a direct result of not only the doctor and his medication, but also by prayer. I put that there too. I want to journal that. And, um, and I know that will continue. I know prayers will continue and he will continue to get well. He will continue. That will continue. And um, so I've already put down a lot. I've, done, I've journaled a lot right here. And this is, this is a lot of journaling. Um, now, another way is, is even your um, text empathy. You know, this was very scary. This was very scary for me. If I want to write something that is scary... Um, and there I, I'll put it in them wiggle letters. That ma makes it look almost scary, doesn't it? Because this was a scary time. Scary time. And I will know what that means. I will know what that means. When I look back at this page, I won't have to go read word for word what I just wrote, what I just journaled, because it's right there on my, um, on my page. And um, let me see. Another thing, you know, any kind of icon. Okay, I need to call my friend Donna today because last night I was talking to her and my phone went dead. So I'm going to just draw a little phone. And Donna. I want to remember that for sure. So let me frame it. You can do a frame of any kind, you know, just make a frame. So I got to remember my to call my friend Donna. And, um, Let's see. Let me see. What else can I tell you about this? Um, you know, there's there's a lot of simpler things. You know, you might be something might make you really happy today. So that's simple right there. 
happy. Something makes you happy. Dizzy here, maybe you can write down one word that makes you happy, or maybe nothing, you know? Just you had a happy day. Or you may have a sad day. Or you may be angry about something today. There you are, sketch noting. Those are just little sketches. And then, you know, you might have, okay, me, here you can do quadrants this way. Okay, so maybe, maybe today, some of these are just maybes. Maybe today, um, okay, maybe today you were waiting for something to come in the mail and you just really thought it was going to come today. And so you're waiting, you're watching the clock. There's that clock again. And you're all excited because you're waiting. And then it comes time for the mailbox. So you, let's put that arrow there so we know. Here comes the mailbox. That's my mailbox. Isn't that a nice mailbox? And empty, empty, nothing in there, empty, it didn't come. And so it made you sad. So then here, then you were sad, very sad, because it didn't come. But then, the hubster went and checked the mailbox later, realized that when he checked it earlier, the mail hadn't run yet. That's why it was empty. And so now, you're all happy. Because your package did come, and it was there, and... You just had to wait for the right time. And so I went into these here's quadrants. I was happy because I was waiting, and then I was sad because it was empty. I was sad, and then sadness would come to happiness again because waiting for some more time, and then the mail did run, and the mailbox was bulging. Let me make a bulging mailbox. Yeah, that's a bulging mailbox. <laughs> but there you just put your thoughts in the quadrants, like one, two, three, four, four steps. And there you just um, journaled about that package that you were, um, that you were um, waiting for. Now, and then there's something, you know, you can use your words. You might want to write something tall. You might be talking about something tall. So you write the word and you make all tall letters. It's tall, you know, something. You might even be talking about, you might see, um, you might meet up with a, um, a new friend. Maybe Joe, the friend's name is Joe. And he's just absolutely tall. So let's just write Joe down here. We're going to remember Joe was very tall there. And so that's something. Now, you might, uh, maybe you went out to dinner and you had a plate of spaghetti. Maybe you went out to dinner with Joe and you have this plate of spaghetti and it was hot. It was hot, spicy hot. That was that spaghetti when you went out with Joe. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and give Joe this spaghetti. And let's put that down there because Joe went out on a date. 
and I went out on a date for spaghetti. Spaghetti is very hot. And so here I just wrote that. Um, I just journaled about that spaghetti being hot. And Joe, he was very tall. And, um, and maybe I'll even put a little date on there. Maybe we went out on a on the 32nd of the, you know, I don't know. Maybe we went out on Tuesday. T-U-E. And so maybe we'll make that a calendar right there. We went out on Tuesday. Had that spaghetti. It was very hot. Okay. Sketch noting. Now, if you look this stuff up, I mean, I ain't making this up. This is something that is very done, done very often now and then if you're if you if you're planning something if you're planning like you're planning a um a trip let's see if you're planning like a trip maybe you want to go to like okay we want to go to epcot center let's see how would we draw that epcot thing that Epcot symbol is like Zentangled. That's why I mean. That's, this is Epcot here. Now, you may not know that's Epcot, but I know that's Epcot. But it's just a thought. It's just a thought. We don't know. So let's just do this empty thought. So... But I, I just journaled now that I'm thinking about going to Epcot. I don't even want to write anything in there because it's such a distant thought right now to go to Epcot. And um, just another thought. Just Maybe I'll take Joe. Maybe Joe and I are thinking about Don't tell Papa about Joe. Um, yeah, I'll put that there because maybe Joe and I might be thinking about going to Epcot. Oh, we, we went already went on Tuesday and had that hot spaghetti and that with that tall guy he was very tall man he was tall and um yeah do you get where do you are you catching my drift here you catching my drift about sketch noting this also some of you may have learned about putting paper straight um learned about um, like mind mapping. Mind mapping is kind of in the same area here as sketch noting. Mind mapping though most of the time you just use words but you do them in the same way that you can explode things and um, everything doesn't have to be written out paragraph by paragraph by paragraph and um, this is fun this is actually fun to do and you don't have to be no artist you don't have to be an artist at all look at just how you write the word corner <laughs> I might want to write corner C O R N E R I just wrote it in a corner. Just wrote it. C O R N E R. See how that corner? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, you might want to do okay. You might say, Oh my gosh, I haven't taken my medicine, which I haven't taken my medicine. So, but I need to take it. I need to get that done. And I need to get that done fast because it's time. So I write the word fast and kind of give it that forward slant there and medicine fast. I got to get that done. So I make it just look fast, make the picture look fast. See? Okay, like a racing car. Like a race, you could even put the letters in the shape of a car. I don't know, something like that. Um, and 
And so this is just what I wanted to share with you and, and just, just a little sharing of what, um, what I'm doing right now. And, and thank you all for these prayers for Jeffrey, these prayers for Jeffrey. See, oh, it's amazing. He's, he's doing, I'm looking forward to hearing from them today and but I'm giving them the time that they need mama and child they need the child and, and I'm going to share more with you about what's going on um, today I just am not real ready um, not real ready because it's very tender subject very very tender subject and my heart still breaks. It's my heart still breaks. Have you ever seen this? A broken heart. See how there has been sketch noting has been around forever. My heart is broken, but it's healing. And and I'm just a distant. I'm just the grandmother. It's broken, but, you know, if I put some little ruffles around my heart, well, then it's healing. I want to thank you all for hanging out and listening to me ramble on about sketch noting and you can um you can even google this sketch noting and you'll get a lot of information about sketch noting and ideas and i this this is something that um i think you all might be interested in especially those of you who don't really want to write you don't know the words to write if you do your sketch noting in your journal, you're getting journaling done. You're getting it done. There's so many different ways to do it. I mean, basically, this is a way, but, and it's all over the page. It's wherever I have a space on the page. And I love you guys. I love you guys. And I cannot, you know, reading those responses to my plea for prayers for this young boy. I was reading the, the responses and I just was in tears, just thinking about everyone who took the time to type in just a few words, even if they just said praying. So many people took that time and to know that to know that just warmed my heart, just warmed my heart, just warmed it. It's like my heart was hugged. I'm going to put some hugs around my heart here. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know what, today, so I'm going to sing a song. I feel like singing today. Singing is what just, um... Singing is something that is so healing for me. And to me, singing some of these old hymns. Let me see. I want to... Let me just, I'm turning pages and see if there's something here that may be Oh, here's two good ones. I'm going to do this one. Peace like a river. Now, if you don't want to hear me sing, this is where you, you won't miss anything. Okay. If I remember this song. 
When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my it is well, it is well with my soul. And I thank you all for being here with me. I thank you all for being part of my family. And I thank you all for the prayers that you have sent for my physical family. And I ask God to watch over each and every one of you through these times of the pandemic and the, and the, and the worry that is not only in us adults, but in the small children and what effect they have. These, the children are affected probably more than the adults are. And not by the virus itself, but by the thoughts, by the unknown. We as adults really don't understand it well, and the children understand it even less. And so they kind of just make things up in their head and try to understand it. And so I pray for all of you, all of your families, your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, that it be well, that all will be well with your soul. In Jesus' name, I pray these things. God bless you, and thank you so much for being here. God bless.